All right, so the Lee Chalon today I'm gonna make a Lee Chalon tutorial. I made one before, but it wasn't on my channel, so I'm gonna make a new one now. Uh, we're gonna start with basically his punishment. We're gonna start from 10 frame and up. All right, his best 10 frame punish is one three three. Would you get a free blazing kick afterwards? He had free blazing kick, so that's 10 frames. Best damage. Let me take out counter hit for now. So that's in total. Yeah, that's pretty good. The other punish, if you can do 133, is uh 124, which is 27 damage and minus one on hit. And then his other 10 frame damage. Oh, I got rage. 2-1, which is 18. It's like plus 6 or 5, so if you want frame advantage. But the best punish to do always is 1-3-3 three, three with the free blazing kick. If you happen to sidewalk, you get a full combo, at least to the... If you sidestep to the right. See, get that. Then you get 4-2-1. So that's the best punish. One, three, three. You get free blazing kick. Uh, the trick to doing one, three, three um, is pretty easy to do. It just do one, one, three, one, one, three, three, and press an empty button. If you see, I'm pressing one plus two, a top. I'm just pressing an empty top button after I do one, three, three. And then pressing the last three. So one, three, three, top button three. And it's pretty much in between. You see? In between you do it. So it's one, three, one plus two, and then blazing kick. That's how you do it. So one, three, one plus two. Empty top button actually. Or just press that empty button in between the one, three, three. So press one, three, three, top button three. So press that MB, it, it don't need to be a top button. It don't need to be a top button. It could be any other button. It could be any other empty button you want to press. And it'll make it, it'll have the little delay in between the 133 for you to be able to do it. So I'm pressing the empty button to help with the timing. That's the easiest way to do it. See, I'm able to do it. See, I'm pretty, I can do it pretty consistently. Look at that. So that makes it a lot easier to do. Um, now we're gonna go to his uh, 11 frame punish, which is that. That's his 11 frame punish. But honestly, with Lee, um, you you want to do acid rain punish from 10 all the way to 14 because it does his most damage. It does more damage than 4 to 1 and all of that stuff. The only time you ever want to do 4 to 1 or, or uh, forward 1 plus 2. For 13 is if there's a wall so you can wall splat so that's the only times you ever want to go for uh 421 or four to one plus two or whatnot okay i'll show you this is his 13 frame punish one plus two forward one plus two which is good for long range moves and if there's a wall you can wall splat um but if you do see acid rain does more damage so you want to do acid rain from 10 all the way to 14 unless there's a wall then you wall splat um for launch punishing um uh, launch punishable lows like down three you want to crouch cancel and to up 4-4. Four, four. It can be pretty hard to do, but once you practice it, you get used to it. I, pre I pretty much just press forward and then up 4-4 four, four after down back. And don't hold the down back neither. When you block it, you just kind of have to just do it. You see? If you hold it, the somersault kick is going to come out. So just 
Right when you block the low, just do a full four. That's how you crouch cancel. That's a, and that's his 15 frame um, launcher, the hop kick from, from crouch. So if you hold down back while you blocking low and then do the full flip kick, the full flip kick is gonna come out, so it's not gonna work. Also, uh, 14 frame punish. That's minus 14 on hit, by the way. It's 4 2 1 or 3 3. 4 2 1 does more damage, so you probably want to go for that more. Is crouch cancel when you go from a crouch cancel state? Yeah, if you want to do slide into hop kick, what I'll show now, um, you want to uh, press forward. See? While you're doing the slide, you press forward into up 4 4. You know, or you could do this trick that I do is a slide into 4 3, and 4 4 3 comes out of slide. Just do slide motion and then uh, 4 3. See, and that comes out. So it's basically the same as um doing hop kick slide forward up 4 4. See, and you could do that as a slide mix up. So, yeah, the least down four is minus 14 on hit. Um, for for lows that are minus 12 and down, you're gonna have to do while staying 3 3 or while staying 4 for plus, and you can go into him hand. Issue will while staying through 3 3 is negative on hit, but if you want to be greedy, you can do the follow up. It's pretty punishable, it's large punishable though, and then you can duck this, the last hit and it's a high or somebody can low parry it. But if you think somebody's gonna, if they block it and try to punish the last hit, you can just finish it. But then you have to worry about somebody ducking it and launching you. So it's risky, but uh, you could get extra damage for it. Also, if you do while staying 3-3 into that, somebody can step it on block. See? On block, somebody can step it and launch you. So, that's no good. That's no good whatsoever at all. no good at all yeah to the right yeah oh both sides let me see yeah both sides you can step it so also uh for 15 is uh you could do a lot of stuff for 15 you could do acid storm you could do acid storm or for long or you could do back one one two just frame a lot of people have trouble with back 112 just frame because they don't know the timing to it. So I'll show you how to do the timing right now. Um, if you mash it, if you mash it, it's not going to come out. So don't, don't mash the back 112. Back 112 is kind of like a rhythm thing. It's like back, back 112. You know? The only delay is between the 1 and the 2. It's really easy to do. Just don't mash it. If you feel like you mashing it, it's not gonna come out. It's kinda just back one one two. You see? It's a slight delay in between. Just don't mash it and you'll be fine. If you feel like you actually mashing it, it's not gonna come out. So don't mash it whatsoever. At all. Just don't mash it. Um Let me see what else. Minus 14. Uh while standing 14 frame punishes while saying 2-3 and you get 4-4-3 afterwards the timing to that is a little bit funky but basically you just have to wait till Lee recovers from the while standing 2-3 and then do the 4-4-3 but well, you have to be kind of fast you just have to get used to the timing but also that is no mashing just don't mash it and just wait you can also, if you can't do while saying 2 3 into 4 4 3, you can just do while saying 2 4. And um, you get a lot of plus and like stuff like back 4 is uninterruptible or down 3 or 1 plus 2. It's like plus 12 on the hit or something like that. So. Um, what else, really? Yeah, I think that's about it for his punishment. His punishment is pretty good overall. So basically. For anything with push back and minus 15, you want to do acid storm, which is 4334. But if it's next to a wall and you block something minus 15, go for back one. 
let me see what else combo wise uh for damage you just do a full four blah blah back two misstep and for wall carry you can just keep doing back two missteps you can just do back two missteps which is like three of them yeah that's for full wall carry if you want um when lee's on rage which i'll show you guys now he gets uh the, his rage drive is down forward three plus four this is a rage drive and you can get that on hit into back two misstep or you can do this which i do instant while standing two four To do an instant while standing two three or two four, you basically do misstep forward and then misstep back, and you press the while you press two while he swing back. In between the sway back, you press uh, two. Like in between, like not not the full sway back, but like in the in the between of the sway back. So you could basically mix up. You could be like misstep low, which is the same thing, which is misstep sway back four, and it's the same thing. So if you can do instant misstep low. You could do an instant while standing 2 forward, which is a mix up because it looks like Lee is swaying back, so people think the sway low is coming. You could just dash forward while standing 2 forward. It's a race drive, and then do that, and then pretty much, yep. Oh, yeah, sway low on hit is plus 3 on hit, and you get the, the combo and to screw. Also, Lee's race drive can be used as a 15 frame punish. So you can punish stuff with it. You can punish Blazing Kick with it too. You can punish stuff like Blazing Kick with it. See? punch stuff like blazing kick and all kinds of stuff in between so it's a good punish it's like 15 so if you block Hihachi's uh, 442 from some rages you can block it or uh, or anything like that okay now for counter his setups death is as well yes you can punish death is with 4 1 plus 2 uh, I'm down 4 3 plus 4 the rage drive so when you have rage with Lee, you either wanna you wanna hit somebody with while staying two three to get this. That's the biggest damage. So you wanna scare somebody. Oh, you could whip punish with it too. If somebody whips something, the whip punish with it. Um, what else with Lee? Uh, okay, the down three pickup. Is basically I just hold up doing the animation and when you see Lee going like this that's when you do back 3-3 three, three. that's a 16 frame low and it tracks at least left but that's one of Lee's main weaknesses is that his range sucks so you have to you have to uh, you have to dash forward a lot you have to dash forward a lot and poke That's another problem. Since it tracks to the left, you can size up and duck and punish him. But um, he has tracking moves to the left, which are down two. Down two tracks to the left, which is his, his weak side. See? Or uh, you could do, of course, one plus two, which is his homing move. But it's 20 frames, so it's slow. Uh, back four also homes when you go into Hitman. The issue with that is that the range is not good, so you have to be careful because it could whiff and you could get whiff punished for doing it. See? You have to be careful. The range on 1 plus 2 is better, so I would advise doing 1 plus 2 more as a tracking move because it has better a better hitbox and back 4 into Hitman. Yeah, back back 4 is not very good. So down three is really good 
for catching people mashing like high for a high crush see they high crushes fully the issue with down three though is that it's not an instant high crush so you see see i counter hitting him out of down three he got counter hit it out of down three so you see that uh down three is not an instant high crush but it's possible to it's not an instant high crush though you can counter hit him out of it so you have to be careful dashing up and doing it you see i just counter hit him out of it so you have to be careful it sucks though that down three is not an instant high crush but it's not you can count it you can actually if you time it properly your opponent can actually counter hit you out of the down three and um launch you which is pretty pretty bad but down three is good to catch people from ma people that step left and mash or uh people that that do too many highs you know also down three is um negative three on hit if you just go like that if you go in a hit man it's a zero so if somebody's doing like a slow mids or something you can do hitman three and then down four four for the guaranteed hit or uh if somebody's doing jabs you can do hitman two it's hitman two high crush you see watch see the issue with that is if somebody does magic four magic four has a, a big hit box so the magic four is going to beat him out so it's only against jabs if they do a long range high like steve's back one or magic four your hitman two is always going to get counter hitted so down three on hit is kind of a mind game you have to see if somebody's gonna do a something slow enough that's a mid or something so you can hitman three or if they're gonna do jabs so you can hitman two or if you want a side one like uh some players like to do this though i'll show you see you can do that and avoid the the um the homing move. See? But if somebody does that, you can do Hitman 2 and um full high crush them. Even if they do a single jab, the Hitman 2 will high crush them and you get a full combo. So it's a mind game. So you have to really see what your opponent is gonna do after down three on hit. You know, if they start stepping to the right. You could do Hitman, uh, you could do uh, Silver Tail, or if they step left, you could do Slide. Or if you don't want to go for Hitman shit, you could do Slide and stuff like that. Um, one of the issues too is that to do the pickup, you have to always go into Hitman. And the issue with that is that when Lee goes into Hitman, it's actually easier to launch punish the down three. So, be careful with that. So, traps for Lee's down three is basically down forward one, and then somebody does a high do down three weaknesses of that is somebody can step and launch you or sidewalk to his weak side for down three which is the right and launch you so you have to be careful with that it's a lot of reading so that's one of his setups for the down three you can also do like a back four down three but i wouldn't advise doing that because uh, somebody could easily just back up and make it with if the character has good movement you see be careful um poking wise you want to go for df1s df1 strikes to the right so you could be like df1 df1 see plus some like a backdash and launch you so you see a lot of these weaknesses have to do with the fact that his moves don't have any range so you could back up and you could use movement to force whiffs on him which uh makes him have to double dash and do stuff like that you see you have to double dash and poke but the issue with that is, is if somebody just stands there and does a magic four you're gonna get counter hit if somebody does a hop kick you're gonna get launched so he has to double dash forward a lot you know or you can do stuff like a uh, down for one standing three see you can't back dash out of it the issue with that is if you could just sidewalk or if somebody matches so you see lee's neutral game has to do a lot with guessing if the opponent is gonna back dash stand still or sidewalk it's a lot of guessing so like i said for lee's uh for, for people that step to lee's uh weak side you can do stuff like that uh four 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 
but you see, it doesn't track. It only hits somebody if somebody decisive hop kicks you. So you really wanna don't wanna do full 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 like that. Because the last hit whips you see on block on block, you get a uh, opponent gets a full combo, which is pretty bad. So you don't wanna do stuff like that too much. Uh, you should just stick to doing one plus two or down two or something like that. But catch people to step least weak side. Down for one, down back three. That's okay, but if a character has better movement, they can fully step the down. You see, I fully stepped it. If a character has least movement, is not that great, so he can't really step the that that move. But anybody else will be able to fully step the shit with no with no issues. Down back three plus four attracts pretty good, and it high crushes at the last frame. So when it fully comes out, see it high crushes. You get a four three plus four free. And it's plus four on hit. So you can do stuff like down for four afterwards. And your opponent can't step it, you see. But if you do stuff like DF1, your opponent can step it. See? Step hop kick. So leaves a lot of guessing on block and hit and stuff like that. You have to guess a lot with him. Also, another high crush is a uh, four four four. You do you get a full combo. Tracks his weak side also. You have to be careful because if somebody waits till he actually does the full move, they could counter hit that out of you with a high. So it's not really a full high crush. It's the misstep. The misstep forward what makes it high crush. So down two has that same issue that um it high crushes, but it doesn't really because it's slow. So somebody could do something like Steve's back one. And, and smack you out of it or you can just wait till it comes out and then magic for him out of it so he doesn't have any real like real real good high crushes like that so that's one of Lee's biggest biggest problems at all that's one of his biggest problems so like I said earlier if somebody's back dashing a lot after your post you can do stuff like one plus two stuff like down back three plus four has range uh, you kind of want to do instant running a lot if somebody's back dashing a lot which is easy, I just do down forward one, up, and then four, four, three, four, and it comes out. That's how you can do instant run. You can just press up after anything, and then four, four, three, four, and then the running move comes out. And that's plus three on hit. And if you go on a hitman, it's plus four. So the running move is good, but it has no tracking, so opponent can fully step it anyway. See? And Lee's back turn combo is down forward three, two, three, standing two, back two, missed that. That's his back turn combo. But yeah, that's Lee's issue with the running move. So with the running move, you could go in the hitman and press one plus two. See, uninterruptible, can't interrupt it. Can't step it neither. So the best option is just to go into hitman to force somebody just to stand there and block. And then after that, you could do stuff like slide mix ups and whatever you want. If somebody starts blocking, you can do slide, instant slide after that, which is just do the slide motion while you in hitman. Or while staying 2-3, stuff like that. Or Hitman 4. Um, Lee's new knockdown, so he gets Hitman 4 and the Blazing Kick. And if somebody gets up straight, the Blazing Kick is a full combo. So, But uh, Hitman 4 does not track to Lee's weak side, which is the left. You see? You can fully step it. If somebody's stepping to Lee's weak side at the Hitman, you can do Hitman 1-1 one, one also. That tracks to Lee's weak side. Uh, doing slot instant slide is easy. It's just doing like a Shinko or Duke in the street fight. So you just do down four, down four, three. See, I do it instantly. Just do it fast. You can do instant slide. And you get a uh, get up three, three. Issue with Lee's slide mix ups is that you kind of want to do it in somebody's face. Because uh, while staying two, three, and two, four have no range. So I'll show you. See? So if you do a slide from a distance, people are gonna know you're gonna do it, you know? Because look, nothing will reach, you see? 
So you always wanna uh, do a slide like pretty close to somebody, like a slide mix up. You don't really wanna do it, um, you don't really wanna do it like from distance, but Lee slide tracks to his left. So if somebody stepping left, Yeah, 443 is good because it has a lot of range and it wall splats. And Lee's slide pickup is while saying 2 3 back to misstep. That's how he picks up, that's how he punishes slides. So he's really good at punishing. It's just that his range is not great and his tracking isn't the best. So you really have to do a lot of like empty dashes forward in people's face and then poking and wait. Because a lot of his stuff, like uh, stuff like down back 3 on hit, it has, um, too much pushback so it's too much pushback on on hit so if you do anything after down back three on hit you're gonna whip if somebody's just moving see you get whip punish so stuff like that is just meant to be to see what somebody does on block on hit and then move and then with punish accordingly but there's a trick though if you do down back three and then you do a back one one like that it actually tracks to the left See? So that's a good thing to stop people from stepping left. Also, his 1-2 uh, misstep, uh, the second hit tracks to the left. See? Another thing about 1-2 misstep, if the second hit of 1-2 hits you on hit, the last two is free. I'll show you. See? It's all free if the second two hits you on counter hit. So that's something that's good to know. Uh, at least 443 is also like minus 11 or 12, so some characters are good range on jabs or something could punish it. Um, what else am I missing? Oh yeah, Lee could get the new pickups off of all 433, three, off 434. See? Issue with that move is that it has zero tracking, so... See, no tracking. But you could mix it up with the one, or you know, the one or whatever, a four, three, one. But that's punishable also. See, you could punish it with that. So, what else am I missing, Willie, for you guys to see? I think that covers most of the stuff. Oh yeah, down forward one on hit, on um, block, you could do, if somebody does a mid, you could do four, four, four. Um, I always just do that, cause it always combos. The issue with that though, is that of course, you can start step the last hit. But if somebody starts stepping the last hit, you could just finish the string. See, they move, the last hit hits them. But that's like minus, uh, See. That's minus 13 though. So you want to do 4 1 plus 2. It's minus 13. So. I think that covers Lee, most of Lee's stuff. Uh, okay, uh, there's a couple of counter hit stuff that I want to I wanna show quick. One plus two on counter hit. One plus two is his homie move. So um 1 plus 2 is his homie move, right? So, you can either be hard and cross cancel into down 4 4, which does uh, more damage, which is pretty much 4 4, down 4 4. Or if you want to just be easy, you can just press up and then back 3 3, and it always works. But it's less damage, but it's easier to do. Uh, 2 1 1 is the same thing. You could do the same thing, you see? Or if you want to be hard, you could uh, dash forward, cross cancel into down 4 4, and then punch. So that works. So you could do that. And that the mind game in that is just pretty much just do 2-1 on block and see if somebody presses a button every time they block it and then you finish it. Same goes for 1-2 and to hold. You see you get a full combo. It's the same thing. So if somebody swings, if you see somebody keeps mashing after 1-2, you could just do that. But it's punishable as you can see. If, you, if somebody does something long, long range enough. See? 
Also on neutral, if you do stay in three on block and somebody matches jabs, you can hit man two them and stuff like that. It's a little bit risky. It's a lot of hard reads, really, to be honest with you. It's mad hard reads. Um, also down four and hit is minus 14. But if they try to punish it, you can finish the whole string. See? But you don't really get much for it. Or you can do down four, four, four. They try to punish it. Issue with that is somebody could just duck and then launch you. Yeah, so but somebody could duck and launch you, so you have to be careful with that. Um let me see. Yeah, miss that blow is minus is plus three on hit. But also down four four tracks the least weak side after plus. So remember that. So you can do down four four somebody step into your weak side. Issue with uh misstep blow is that it's pretty slow and it's minus 13 if you could punish it and it's only plus three. So if you do a down forward one, it's gonna come out at 10 frames. So um, it's gonna trade with somebody else's jabs or something. So if somebody's mashing, you kind of just want to do something quick, like either two, two, three, magic four, or if they're doing cross jabs, you can just do down four, 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 or down four, four, three, three, and that will hit them on counter hit. Uh, also for Lee's uh, pressure, like I said, you want to do instant running three, four, slide mix ups into one plus two to stop them from mashing. Uh, forward one plus four three plus four is plus like four so if they swing to do while staying forward to stop them from moving you can also do slide mix-ups see they can't you can't move um also while staying two three and two four you want to be careful doing that because the risk reward ratio is kind of rough yeah risk reward ratio is kind of rough somebody could duck and launch also, after Lee's flip kick, you could crouch cancel 4 4 3 back to miss that. That works well. That's one of his strongest combos. That's a combo after 4 4 4 on hit. You do side step 3 plus 4, and then 4 4 3, and then yada yada, and that works. Back back 4, you get the pick up also. But, um,. That back four is kind of like not really good because it homes, but it has no range and it's plus two. I wouldn't really use it like that because it's not very really good. But you get a pick up. Uh, up four, three plus four. I don't really use it too much, but it's really plus. So it forces somebody just to take the mix up. If you feel somebody just sitting there and blocking, you could throw it out. But you have to be careful because it has no tracking and it's high. So to do miss trap, it's just basically three, three and wait till it hits and press up four. Off of Lee's 4, 4, 3 plus 4 grab, you get a uh, 4, 3 plus 4 free, or you get a uh, Blazing Kick free. And Blazing Kick, you could run up and do a slot mix up afterwards. So basically, um, if you're poking with Lee, if you're somebody's backdashing and ducking a lot, do this then 1, 8, 3, 4. Instead of running 3, 4, or... 1 plus 2 or a 4 3 stuff like that another thing I learned is that if somebody's trying to duck your string you can do a 4 3 that's a magic 4 if somebody charges it's the duck you get the counter hit combo uh, now for the end of the tutorial I will basically show wall stuff wall combos and stuff and I think that'll be the end of the tutorial after that after I show the wall comments. How you, how you guys think of this tutorial so far? Do you like it? Is there anything I'm missing that you guys would like me to, to say? Uh, okay, this is for the wall combo. You just do back to miss that back to. That's his, mo that's his most damage, but sometimes it whips. So you kind of want to do. Yeah, this is going on YouTube. Down for one, that into that, into down three. That works too. Sometimes that miss. Um, the most accurate shit on the wall is that always hits no matter what. Or you can do four three four. 
but you have to delay the last hit. See, and it doesn't flip. So do four, three, delay that last hit, and then hit. So it's up to you what wall combo you want to do. Um, on the wall, you can do an instant hitman up four, three plus four. So it's just duck three plus four or four, three. So just duck three plus four and there's instant up four three. You see it's a mix up. That's the that's a good way to use the um the hitman move. And then you can mix it up with, with slide, instant hitman slide, or or that, and then you do let me take out the counter here. On the wall too, if you block something minus ten and you do acid rain. You get up back three into that. That's free. And if you get a wall splat, if you want to be tricky, you can do stuff like uh, stuff like that. Or if you get a wall splat, you can back dash and do down two into. Yeah, you can do that. You do stuff like that and that works and then if somebody texts on the wall if somebody stays on the floor you do up back three and then you get the little mix up so, so that's what people that stay on the floor and then you get a slide mix up or instant hitman into into stuff like that so and if somebody does something minus 15 on the wall just do back one one two for, for the wall splat Also, another thing about one, back one, one, two, if you go into Hitman, it's minus one. So if somebody's swinging a lot with like slow mids and stuff, you can do Hitman three, you can do Hitman two for highs. That's just jabs. So that's another thing I forgot to tell you. And a uh, back four on block is minus three, but if you do it from a spacing distance like that, it's minus two. So if that, somebody does slower mids, you can do a uh, two, two, three or magic four for the full combo. So. That's pretty much it for the tutorial. I'll show you the the floor break combos, and then that'll be it. And then uh, this will go on YouTube soon. So apply pressure. Just do slot mix-ups, honestly, and do running three four into Hitman and stuff like that. Uh, for you know, instant Hitman, instant Hitman off for three, Hitman off for four, four three plus four. You can do down back three plus four, down foot one, and then just try to set up a counter hit. Because Lee's all counter hits. You have to set up counter hits a lot. Also on the wall stage, if you do three, 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 hey man, I mean one, three, three, you get a full combo. You have to instant while staying three, three. Yeah, you get it. Uh, you get that, it's kind of tricky to do. But you have to press uh, down full four while standing full four, four. Yeah, it's not working on Jack. So on floor breaks, you do that. Back four, down three is free. breaks so that's about it for the lead tutorial man hope you guys enjoyed it and it'll be uploaded and i'll see you guys later